Stevenson back to Haig again. He'll release, and he hit Petrangelo up high, and Alex Petrangelo's hurt. Blood pouring from his face, and Petrangelo heading to the bench, and they're going to take him right into the dressing room. Alex Petrangelo thankfully able to walk off down the tunnel. Here's a look. There's Petrangelo here. And right there. Uh, boy, tough play. Kind of as Cunning going out to block that shot. You can't really see it. Maybe ramps up. And as you can see, there's Petrangelo trying to get out of the way and hits him right up on the left side of the head. So obvious concern on the Vegas bench. And it looks like a cut to the forehead for Alex Petrangelo. And I know this doesn't look good, but you kind of feel it could have been worse, Brett. Could have been worse. Um, thankfully, he got up. Knew right, right away it was just a cut. And I say just. I mean, we get cut a lot in the NHL. But he looked like he was going to be okay and just probably going back for repair. And nobody feels worse about that than the, the guy who shot him. Yeah. But that puck was deflected, certainly. And Petrangelo will uh, likely set the rest of this one out with a three-goal lead with two and a half minutes left to go. There's Nick Haig. And uh, he's got to be at least taking some comfort in the fact that his teammate was able to skate off on his own power. And uh, Petrangelo hopefully won't be concussed. That's probably the other concern beyond a fracture that you'd be worried about in a situation like that. Yeah. 